what's up guys welcome back and today I'm really excited because we are doing let's max town hall 8 on my town hall 8 account I'm gonna love this series I hope to put out an episode or two every week because this is fun town hall 8 is a lot of fun it's nothing to rush through because it's fun to max you can get a lot of loot here uh, this new feature is great upgrading a row of walls although it's not going to be useful for walls over level 8 because they get super expensive but so there 4 million gold I got 8 walls done in one click that saved me like 3 seconds of my life so you know there's that um, so about maxing Town Hall 8 I always say this but this is the time you want to max if you're ever going to max a Town Hall this is it you know maybe you did it at Town Hall 7 too if so that's great you're on a good path. Town Hall 8 is a long Town Hall. The defensive upgrades and all the buildings, when you uh, string them end to end, if you have five builders, it takes three months to get through. Roughly three months. And then there's walls too, which you may or may not have gotten done in that time, but probably not. So, you know, this might take three months or more. And I know, you know, in our, in our time, Three months is a long time. People are not always patient, but be patient. This is easy. This is simple. You just keep going. You don't need new toys. You don't need expos yet. You don't need any of that crap. Just stay at a good farming range you like. Get everything maxed, and, and you'll be happy. A max town hall 8 is a nice base. It's something to be proud of. Skull walls, you know, being level 8 walls, and uh, already a level 10 barbarian king it sort of also uh, it gets you set off on the idea of maxing and the idea of maxing your heroes and what an overlooked part that I think is very important maxing the dark elixir troops in your lab um, we might struggle with that there's a lot of dark elixir upgrades in the lab they're kind of expensive for t town hall 8 standards and they're not going to seem that important. It's like, why are we doing Valkyries? We're not using Valkyries. But I just think it's best. And I love that feeling at the end. When you when you max everything in that lab, it doesn't say research over it anymore. <laughs> and you can take a picture of that and be like, yo, there's nothing left to upgrade in that. That's cool. And it just it just gives you status as a farmer. It's It's the way we do it. So... If you want to grow up to be a max Town Hall 8, I mean 10, start at Town Hall 8, I'm telling you. This is where you get good habits, you can perfect your farming skills, and you can prob it'll probably help get you into a good clan too. Good clans like to see people that max out their Town Halls. Good clans never want to see people who rush their Town Halls. If you're a Town Hall 10 with pink or purple walls, you're not going to get into any good clans. To get into my clan, you need level 9 walls and level 30 heroes. So if you wanted to get into my clan, but you were very, very behind as a Town Hall 10, you'd have a very hard time catching up because there's a loot penalty. By the way, that is the whole reason behind maxing town halls there's a loot penalty this is slightly better explained nowadays but when I started out it was a real mystery to a lot of people the only people who knew it was the forum community and the farming community the general community of people that just log on a couple times a day and clash they didn't know they're just like well when I click on the town hall it says upgrade and it says I'll get a new dark elixir drill yeah or like these things called expos yeah like it, it sets you up to fail eventually people complain enough on the forums that they put a little sign in when you go to upgrade your town hall I believe it says upgrading your town hall will give you less loot or something vague like that what it should say is the exact percentage well, it's kind of complicated. I guess they couldn't fit it all in, but I should tell you, you will be penalized for attacking lower town halls. You know, this should be advertised more, and it's better than it was. 
I'll give it that. But there, the fact is, there is a penalty for attacking lower town halls than you. So if you're a town hall 10, you can't attack town hall 8s, really. It takes a lot of targets out. So, and that's what's so devastating. So back to the raids here. What I look for when I'm a Town Hall 8, using just barbs and archers, I want to attack bases that have... First, I look at the mortars. If the mortars are level 6, they are pretty devastating to my level 5 troops. They can one-shot my archers. So a big spam of archers, you know, that, that mortar can take out a lot. As many as you group up together. So, a level 5 mortar or less is preferred. They can, the archers can take two shots, and that, that means a lot. Um, a group of archers, <clears throat> you want them to last as long as they can, because you know 20 archers does have a lot of power. And you want them to get into the base a little bit, get any loot inside the base. With wizard towers, same deal. I mean, you don't want real high level wizard towers. Thankfully, in the lower levels, people don't really upgrade their wizard towers that much. They take a long time, and they're expensive. Mortars are cheap, so that's why people max them first. And that is a good decision. So, of course, you want to watch out for wizard towers as well. With the barch here, the only other thing is big bombs. And you don't ever know where they are when you're in low leagues like this. People just haphazardly throw them around anywhere. So they could be in a good spot inside the base. Or they could be out in the corner of the map. You never know. So you kind of got to throw a few barbs down and test. Because you don't want to start dropping all your troops. And all of a sudden that big bomb comes up. You know that noise when a trap comes up. It makes this... I don't know what the noise sounds like. But <laughs> I always freeze when I hear that. I'm like, oh! And I stop dropping troops just till I see where the trap is, what it is, and <laughs> if it's going to blow up my whole army. I bet you guys all do that too. I bet everybody does that. Like, hear a trap. Oh! And freeze. Oh, man. So, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you like this series. Even if you're not a lower town hall, I hope you uh, take my advice about maxing town halls. Taking what you got and making it the best it can be. And then moving on once it's completely maxed. It's really admirable. So, like I said, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Like my videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you got anything to say. Follow me on Twitter. It's uh, BeakersLab1. Same as my channel. Alright guys. I'll see you next time.